This is Smilodon. For those of you who don't know, the Smilodon mod was made by Rosepaw, a modder from the X Argola modding community. The old Smilodon mod was released a little bit earlier this year, but Rosepaw, after learning a few more tips and tricks, decided to come back and redo the model and redo the animations, and I'm so glad she did. When you look at the old model, you don't really think initially that has any room for improvement. It was a really good model in my opinion at the time, but when you compare the old model to the model that we have now, you can see see how much improvement there really was. We're gonna go through the subspecies right click. Here is our default Smilodon. It looks really good. Very strong in the forelimbs, large belly, a little bit of a mane here. Our next one, it has a smaller neck, smaller back legs. The mane is a little bit shorter. Here we go, extra thick. The mane is much taller. The fur on the neck is also bigger and the chest is also bigger here. Homotherium here looks mm, not too different. I think it has about the same thickness, but it still keeps the short mane on top. This one has no mane at all, a little bit thicker chest, a little less fur around the cheek here. The neck is a little bit thicker. Our half fang here is missing just part of the left fang right here. But other than that, it looks pretty much like our default Smilodon. Imposa, oh, right here, you can see they're blind in one eye and they're missing part of a fang. But other than that, same as our default. It's really cool. And then back to our default. So let's go through the calls right quick. First, we have broadcast. Oh, that's really good. I like that a lot. Two call. Oh, it's cute. I wish it had like a little nuzzling animation, but other than that, super cute. Threaten. Ooh, that's vicious. There's a lot of expression in the face. You saw the ears go back, the arm is up, the hair is a little bit raised. I don't know if you guys saw that. The claws also come out and then they retract as well. Four call. That is so good. That is very good. That has a lot of personality. It really is a four call. Sometimes you can't tell, but that one for sure. Talk. That's good. I like it. Shake. Ooh, very nice. Stretch. Big stretch. Oh, there goes the claws. There's the claws. Ooh, scratch. Oh, he's taking a seat here. A grooming a little bit. I like this one. Ooh, works really well. And then our invite is going to be the same as the two call. All right, here is our baby model. This guy looks so concerned. Oh my God. Just look at him, but he's adorable. It looks so good. All right, let's go through the baby calls right quick. Here's our broadcast. Oh. <laughs> That's too cute. Two call. Uh, I'm going to die of cuteness. Threaten. Oh my gosh, it's literally just the house cat. Four call? Oh my god, give him a treat. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Let me move on. Tuck, shake. Why do you look so concerned? Is it just me? Am I reading into this too much? Look at his face. Stretch. Here we go, big stretch. Look at those claws. Look how they go right back in. And then scratch slash groom. There you go, all clean. It's so cute. Rosewall just made Smilodon super cute now. <laughs> And then the invite is the same as the two call. Let's go through a little bit of the animations here. We're going to go through our walk. Here we go. Run. It looks really good. We'll take a seat. Oh, and then they're asleep. Oh, he's so cute. Then I get up. 
Oh, you got a yawn too? The Smilodon is just so good now. It's so, so, so much good. And then here's our adult model. It looks absolutely majestic and powerful. Not like such a scaredy cat, like the baby. But I love looking at this guy. He's just very sleek and very powerful looking. Now let's go through the animations right quick. Here is our adult walk. It looks really good. It slides a little bit, but it's really good. And then there's our run. It really does remind me of a hyena with the way the back limbs are shorter than the front limbs. And now we're gonna sit. A little gentleman and sleep. Super cute, but also kind of serious looking. You want to get up? There's that yawn. And we're going to try our crouch here. Yeah, looking pretty sneaky. Our crouch walk. Is very delicate. Looks just like a house cat. If you've ever seen them try to sneak up on you. Here's our precise movement. You turn in place really well as a Smilodon. Here's our back, it's super slow. Our left, and our right. Then let's see if we have a jump. We do. Looking pretty good. I like it. It's nice and high. Pretty much the same as the old Smilodon. Here's our drink animation. Yeah, pretty much just drinking with his tongue. Pretty alert though. Those ears pointed back. Here's our swim. Looks pretty good. Here's our disturbed burrow animation. And here's our eating animation. It's not very messy or violent. It's really calm kind of eating, but it looks like he's staring off into space, maybe into your soul. I don't know. Now we're gonna go through the skins right quick. This is our default skin. Then we have Grizzly. Wow, I like that a lot. Javati, Tiger, Snow Leopard, Cheetah, Classic, Mielo, and Jaguar. Let's take a look at the abilities right quick. We have three head slots. We have Bite, which does medium damage. We have Charged Bite, charge up the attack and inflict beat based on how long it's held. Then we have Grab, Bite and Grab onto enemies for as long as your stamina allows, can move and carry them around. You can also use it to carry your cubs. And then we have Thrash, give a violent shake for your grabbed enemy. Then our senses, we have our balance senses, and then we have armored plus defense minus stamina, athletic plus stamina minus defense, fierce plus attack minus stamina. I'm not gonna mess with that right now. Oh, and one more, ambusher. Your first attack when not in combat deals increased damage. Then front limb, we have claw attack, a claw attack that causes bleed. Then for our metabolism, we have hyper carnivore and then scavenger. Our legs, we have fly swatter, jumping claw attack to knock flyers down. Ooh, that's new, I like that a lot. Then we have dash, a rapid forward dash, high stamina drain. Okay, so kind of like a charge, but it doesn't do damage. And then for our voice, we have power of the pride, increase the attack of all Smilodons in your group within 30 meters for 20 seconds able to stack up to 10 times that's insane and then primal mend rub dirt on your wounds and increase your bleed healing rate by three times for 25 seconds moving while rolling will cancel the buff okay i didn't even mention it but i really like the icons they have for these attacks like they're very unique and they're hand drawn which is super cool i love this for the grab especially all right here's all our ability animations first up we have bite <laughs> This is really good. You have a little bit of a lunge forward here and the head doesn't move as much as like the old model. You kind of reared back a bit. I like the way this is done. Then we have charged bite. <laughs> He's yawning. Oh my God, look at that. You can be a can opener with that. 
It was really good. I like that one. Then we have grab. Just kind of like a little downward bite to pick things up. Yeah. If you remember, it says in the description that you can use it to pick up babies as well as other creatures. So I would definitely be using this if you want to kind of snatch and go, especially if you want to play solo Smilodon. Definitely get yourself grab, snatch some babies. You'll be fine. Snatching babies isn't the only thing you can do, though. We also have thrash here. Yeah, that animation right there, if you use it in conjunction with the grab, so you pick something up and then you thrash it, you got yourself a combo attack here. As far as I could tell, thrash itself doesn't do too much damage, but you can use thrash multiple times. And as long as your stamina doesn't run out, they can't really get out of your mouth. So you can do quite a lot with that grab thrash combo. Next we have claw attack. It basically does a lot of bleed. The sound is a little bit delayed, but other than that, really good attack. I would definitely be using this a lot when you're fighting, especially bigger creatures. You want to bleed them out just like that. Then we have fly swatters, which is specifically for flyers. It doesn't go too high off the ground. You can sort of get a jump with it, but it still doesn't give you as much height. So I wouldn't say it's really worth more than just doing it from a standstill, but it's really good at knocking players out of the air. So definitely use that when you can. And then next we have dash, which uses a lot of stamina. You go a little bit faster than your normal sprint, but it's still really, really good if you want to chase down somebody. Then for our voice calls, we have primal mend. You just roll over and that's going to give you much faster bleed healing. And then last but not least, we have power of the pride. A nice roar and that increases your attack. You definitely want to use this when you're in groups because you can stack it up to 10 times. So you guys will be able to take down pretty much anything at that point. You can check out the old video I did for Smilodon. I wouldn't recommend it. I think it was pretty bad, but that's when I first started out. Um, if you like this video, definitely check out my other things. I cover a lot of different videos besides Path of Titans. Or if you just want Path of Titans, I have tons of videos on that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely be on the lookout for this guy just to make sure he's not out yet, but he will be coming out soon. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this exclusive early access look at our new Smilodon. And I will see you in the next video.